Hi, I'm Rick Buchler with GenState, and I wanted to go over how we like to use Bubble to make apps and sites that are in multiple different languages. And how we do that is we use the language parameter up here, and this is how Bubble decides what language you are you want to display, and it'll display it in uh, the different languages. So how you can do that is you can have a workflow that can change that LANG parameter. And when you do that, it's going to pull in the translations that you put into Bubble ahead of time. But this allows you to translate the whole site and allows you to own the translations as opposed to uh, relying on the Google API or something that's kind of an automatic translation. So how do we make that work is we use what's called the um, app text function. So when you're programming a page, instead of just putting in the direct what you want it to say, use something called app text. Hiding behind me. Hang on. App text. In this case, we're going to say we want product orders. All right, doesn't exist, so we can say we're going to make a new text ID. Okay, so now it's going to, when it renders this, it's going to pull up product orders, but whatever language that you have set up on the page via that uh, language parameter. And I did a lot of programming last night here, and there's a lot of these on here, but when you preview it, A lot of the translations have not been put in. So you see a lot of no translations, which is not very helpful. So how do we put in the translations? Well, you can find that in the settings page itself. In the languages, you can see all the different uh, app text that you've put in. And the blank ones, you haven't put one in. And you could write them in individually, but you'd have to do that for each individual language that you also are supporting. And that would take a very long time. But luckily, Bubble has this fantastic export and import feature, which makes it a lot easier to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to export this. I don't use, there's five languages that we support. We do Arabic. We do English. French, we do Spanish, I can see it, no worries, Spanish, and finally Tigrinya, and that's going to export uh, something that we can use in Sheets. So let's go ahead and go to Sheets. If you try to open this in Microsoft Excel, it's going to mess it up. So it needs to do something which works well with CSVs. So what we're going to do is we're going to import, we're going to upload that file that we just downloaded. So this is a file of all the translated text that you have in your app, which is not very helpful. What you want to do is look for the blanks. So we're going to create a filter. I like to use the French one. I don't know why. And we're just going to go for the blanks. So we have a few of the new texts that have not been translated by us before. So how you do that is you can use Google Translate for this. So we're going to select all of your texts, copy that, and go to Google Translate, drop that in, and it does a fantastic job of translating it perfectly. Copy it, go back to your sheet, and put that in there. 
that's French. Spanish. Arabic. And Tigrinya. Let's go through to make sure it looks good. It does. Of course, English. Can't forget English. And if you happen to be programming in Tigrinya, Bubble does this thing where it exports incorrectly should be Tigrinian. Change that. I'm going to take all these, take it out of the big page here, put a new sheet, paste it in, and that's what we're going to download. Downloads that as a CSV. We'll go back to Bubble, and now we're going to import that. We look for the thing we just did. Draw the data. 32 elements looks right. And just like that. So now you can see that one that was blank before is here. And now if we go back to our site. You can see that everything is now working. And if we change the language, it's taking its time. Ah, it's the wrong page. As you can see, it's going to be in a different page here. I forgot that I have uh, protections on that page to um, if you're not logged in, we should shuttle, shuttle you off. But anyway, that's how you utilize the languages to put um, your app and your um, website in a bunch of different languages. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks.